Let's explore how different click ID enabled boards can be used on Beagle Play in quick fire order. This list is not exhaustive but should get you going. We only have a minute for each, so without much further ado, let's get started. The Thermo 3 click is based around the Texas Instruments TMP102 temperature sensor. We first make sure it was recognized by looking at the kernel log. D message, grep, microbus. We see it's recognized. The TMP102 driver is handled in Linux by the hardware mon tool, so it means we can just read it by doing sensors. We see it's 33.3 .3 degrees, and I can touch the sensor and see it should go down because my fingers are cold. For a more programmatic way to do it, we can look at the SysFS class. We found in Sys class Harmon Harmon 0. Here we have a bunch of options. The ones we're interested in name, TMP102, that's the right sensor. We can also read the temperature by doing cat temp1 input. And same thing as before, you can see that the value goes down. This is in milli-degrees, which we can see matches the value of our sensor. We can use IIO info to show us that it's connected. Here we see device 0, ADXL345, and we can see the readings. The best way I found to actually get data out is using the CSFS class again. So we can do at this bus IIO devices IIO device 0. And then in here we have a couple options. So we get all the raw values, so for example, in Excel X raw, and we get the actual reading. And if we move the device in the X axis, we'll see that it actually changes. The fastest way to actually get this constantly, I find, is either a Python or Bash script to then read this file rather quickly. So create a file called Excel.sh. We'll put these contents in it, the mod plus X Excel.sh. And then we can do watch that then. 0.1 and then the script file which in our case is going to read every 0.1 seconds and now we can actually see that if we twist the device we see the acceleration values. Next up we have the OPT3001 which is a light sensor. We can do IIO info again and we get the information of that the sensor is connected and we can read the data. Now we can look at the SysFS entry. Here we get things like the name so we have the correct device, and we can get the actual light readings. Let's write a little bash script to read it quickly. We're simply getting the light input, and we're echoing the data out in Lux. It's mod class X, and we can do watch dash n, give it 0.5 seconds because the sensor is quite slow to read. And now when we apply light, And that's the OPT3001. Air Quality 5 is a bit of a special case because it's simply an ADC connected to a air quality sensor. So we're only gonna get raw values out of it, but we can still map those to something useful. First, we check that it's in the kernel log, ADS1015, Air Quality 5. That has all these values. Now let's look at the CSFS class. So you can see we have voltage zero, voltage one, etc. And if you look at the schematic from Microelectronica, you can actually see we have NO2, NH3, and CO connected to AN0, AN1, and AN2, with AN3 being left empty. So now we can write a little script to actually get those readings out. Call it air.sh. And we're simply going to get the voltage 0, 1, and 2 raw values out and print them out. chmod plus x air.sh. Then we can do watch that n every half a second, air.sh. And now we see we have our sensor readings. We can blow on it to make them change. With OLED C click, you'll actually see a bunch of text scrolling on the screen as the board starts, and that's because it's really treating it as a regular display. We can see that it's connected by using dmessage, and then we'll actually see what's called a frame buffer device. So we'll see it as dev fp0. To use it, we'll actually need to use a tool called FBI. So first of all, we do a sudo apt get update, and a sudo apt get install fbi. In this case, already installed. With FBI installed, we can simply run the command as follows. Root FBI dash D device dev FB0 dash T start a virtual console one auto scale and then an image that we have in our file system. So in this case, image.phg. Ta-da! Thanks for watching. Demo files and a written write-up are available in the description below. See you in the next one.